Prime Time with anchors Diane Sawyer in New York, Sam Donaldson in Washington, and Chief Correspondent Chris Wallace. Tonight, it's all the rage. Young people are taking a pill that promises ecstasy. It makes you party more. I mean, you party like all night long with it. This 20-year-old college athlete on spring break took something he bought in a t-shirt shop. The next morning, he was dead. A coroner's report released today shows the dangerous drug that killed him. And tonight, Primetime's own lab tests reveal how much of it is being sold in the name of ecstasy. A 10-year-old could walk up and buy it. Tonight, the latest on a Primetime undercover investigation. A televangelist lives high while his followers give him all they can. God can get glory out of it! His name is W.V. Grant, the miracle preacher who raises people from wheelchairs. Our hidden cameras showed the tricks behind his miracles. Some hard facts about his fundraising for orphans in Haiti. So you get no money from Reverend Grant? He doesn't come here? No. He does nothing for your children. Prime time investigated and now prosecutors say they have the smoking gun that could send W.V. Grant to jail. If your preacher has more cars than Donald Trump, you might just shop around for a new church. Awe inspiring. Record breaking. Chicago Bull. Tonight, a primetime exclusive. Chief correspondent Chris Wallace goes one on one with Michael Jordan. Please don't let me. And his legendary teammate. See wild man Dennis Rodman unwind after he's thrown out of the game. They would love to see, they would love to see me kill myself, wouldn't they? And hear how Scotty Pippen really feels about his explosive teammate. I don't love him now. Tonight, go inside the game you've never seen before. No rules, no timeout, just the amazing Chicago Bull. The verdict, and now the sentence is in. Why the jurors in the Menendez brothers' trial chose life over death. From ABC News, Prime Time continues after this brief message. Prime Time, now from Washington, Sam Donaldson. Good evening. There's a type of product being marketed across the country that is a legal alternative to street drugs, it is said. It's a way to get high without cost, it's said. Perhaps you've been reading about these so-called herbal stimulants. But tonight, in a primetime investigation, we'll show you what the cost could be. So far, a link is suspected to 15 deaths. We'll take a look at one of them, and at why the government has been unable to protect the public from harm. The names are exotic. The compounds sold under these names are legal. You can buy them over the counter. And for some, the high is terrific. It makes you party more. I mean, you party like all night long with it. Yes, indeed. The ultimate thrill. We're selling people the concept of ecstasy. That's what the public is buying. But watch out. There's danger lurking. Not only can it cause injury, it can cause death. For Tom and Karen Schlendorf, who live on the north shore of Long Island, New York, and their family, they learned about the danger in the cruelest way. And they met the officer and he just walked up to me and he said, there's no other way to put this, but your son Peter has been found dead in a hotel room in Florida. Uh, your blood goes cold. His name was Peter Schlendorf, 20 years old, handsome, popular. I thought this couldn't be. Not, not my wonderful, beautiful son that I love with all my heart. Peter was a good student, star athlete, close to his older brother, Dave. And just nine months ago, Pete was the best man at my wedding. I love you guys both. I wish you both the best. Uh, congratulations. I guess I feel a little cheated because I thought there'd be a lot more years and a lot more memories. Spring break, Panama City Beach, Florida. Peter and a group of friends had gone down for the fun. On the afternoon of March 6th, they went into this t-shirt shop and bought some interesting looking pills. The name on the box was Ultimate Exporia, and one could read on the box... 100% herbal alternative supplement with vitamin C. 
the ultimate brain food. Sounds very healthy, doesn't it? Ultimate Exforia, along with other brands, is sold as a natural health food supplement. But the promise is of something more. Increase your energy, magic sensations, inner vision, sexual sensations, cosmic consciousness. What does cosmic consciousness mean? I'm not real sure. It was at the Chateau Motel, where they were staying, that Peter and some of his friends, including Don Nimsker, took the pills. On the box it said, take four. But Nimsker says the salesperson offered some advice. Although the management told us later, that would be against their policy. The lady said, take 12, that's what she takes, and she feels, she feels good. So, uh, me and Pete took eight, thinking we were going to be cautious somewhat. But for Peter Schlendorf, that was not cautious enough. But as soon as Pete consumed the pills, he started uh, saying how he felt. said his heart was felt a little faster. But after about 15, 20 minutes, he started sweating and saying he had headaches. We told him to take a cold shower, you know, maybe he'll feel a little better. But he didn't feel better. And at his urging, his friends went out on the town without him. And then, at 1.30 the next morning, when they returned, they saw a pair of feet sticking out from behind a bed. Pete was laying face down, and his head was somewhat in a garbage pail, like a little hotel garbage pail. And they ran over, pulled him out, flipped him over, and started doing CPR on him, not realizing that he was dead. The autopsy report says Peter Schlendorf's heart stopped as a result of the use of Ultimate Exphoria, an herbal product containing Ma Wong. There was no trace of alcohol or hard drugs. But Ma Wong, a Chinese herb, contains the chemical compound ephedrine, a central nervous system stimulant. It can cause a, an increase in blood pressure, as well as a rapid heartbeat, and can eventually lead in higher doses to cardiovascular collapse. Dr. Rob Middleberg is a forensic toxicologist at National Medical Services Laboratory in Willow Grove, Pennsylvania. Primetime paid the lab to analyze a package of Ultimate Exphoria we bought at a retail store in New York. Each pill contained 28 milligrams of ephedrine, 22 and a half milligrams of pseudoephedrine, and 12 and a half milligrams of caffeine, all found naturally in the herbal ingredients. Nowhere on the box are these chemical compounds listed, although there is a warning that persons with certain health problems should not take the pills. But Peter was in good health. And perhaps one pill might not harm people in good health, according to Dr. Middleberg. But Peter had taken eight pills. If you took eight pills, now you start going into the toxic range, where you can start to induce even the adverse effects in normal individuals. Meaning? Anything from heart attack to infarction to stroke. We tried to find out from the people who distribute Ultimate Exphoria about this, but we got nowhere. They have a drop box in Tempe, Arizona, where they collect their mail and an unmarked office unit in a nearby industrial park. The day we tried to visit them, we got nowhere. Can we talk to you about the ultimate it's for you? No, thanks. Well, could you tell us what it is? Could you tell us how it's used? No comment. We had better luck at the home of Herbal Ecstasy, the most popular of these ephedrine-based health food supplements. According to reports we ordered from two labs, it also contains ephedrine, but in substantially lesser amounts than found in Ultimate Exphoria. The company that makes herbal ecstasy claims to control 98% of the market for such products and is based in Los Angeles in this nondescript building. The company chief executive officer is Sean Sheehan. We can't make claims saying that this product will get you high. We can't make claims saying that this product will give you better sex. But if I think it is going to get me high, or if I think it's going to give me better sex, it's okay with you? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah! Introducing herbal ecstasy. The promise in an herbal ecstasy ad may not be explicit, but just listen to the suggestion. Increased energy levels, euphoric sensations with absolutely no side effects. And on the box, this statement appears, synergistically blended to ensure visionary vibrations. What does that mean? That is a very uh, catchy, if you will, market marketing gimmick um, for selling the product. It really could mean anything. It's a gimmick. Yeah, a marketing, a marketing, uh, uh, marketing spiel, if you will. But what is a visionary vibration? The way we see it, we're not selling a product per se. We're selling an image. People buy our product because they want ecstasy. The child that can't buy a package of cigarettes can buy that. There's something wrong with that.